Hello everyone, this is Teacher Judy, your virtual teacher. At the end of this presentation, you are expected to distinguish general and special properties of materials. To determine whether a material is useful or harmful, let us first differentiate general properties and special properties of matter. Now let's have a quick review. What are the different properties of a material? I have here some pictures. This is a table set. What do you think is the property of this material? The material used to make this table set is wood and it is hard. Now I have here a pile of textile. What can you say about its property? Textiles are absorbent. Next we have spoon and fork. Give one of their properties. They are both heat conductors. Next we have glasses. Glasses are brittle. There you have it for our review. Now to give you some motivation about our new topic, let us look at the pictures here. Identify how it is made up. What are their common properties? Based on the given pictures, we can say that all the materials have something in common like mass, density, and volume. Now that we know the general characteristics of all the materials, let us find out what are the special properties of each material. Here are the special properties for each material. The special properties are the same properties we identified during our review a while ago. Now, how can we differentiate the general properties and special properties of a material? Properties of matter are classified into two categories, general properties and special properties. The general properties are observed and present in all phases and kinds of matter, such as mass, volume, and density. The special properties of matter pertain to the unique properties of one phase or kind of matter, such as brittleness, elasticity, malleability, porosity, among others. Now that we learn the difference between general and special properties of materials, let us apply what we've learned. For our first activity, you just have to encircle the letter of the correct answer by identifying which of the following objects correspond to the given special properties of matter. For activity letter B, differentiate the general properties and special properties of matter by working on the chart below. Remember, 
You can always pause and pace yourself while answering these activities. Now answer this question orally. How can you differentiate the general properties and special properties of matter? Now to check whether you fully understand our topic, let us answer this. Identify the following terms as general or special properties of matter. Number one is mass. Two, thermal. Three, volume. Four, flexibility. And five, luster. What we've learned, let's have another activity. You just have to cite the major differences between general and special properties of matter with corresponding examples. At least five sentences. Good luck! That concludes our lesson for today. Thank you for your participation. Here are some key answers to our activities. We also have here some references. Again, thank you for listening. Goodbye and God bless.